found out this morning about you know, people being injured and, and killed. This man lives right next door to a home that now sits badly burned in Blackstone Circle in Pelham, the place where a fatal fire started late Friday night. I heard uh, some screaming and yelling and I saw the smoke and then called 911. The screams were coming from inside the home where four people were trapped inside. We got there and there was um, heavy smoke and fire coming from the building and we just started looking for people. And what they found was startling. A woman had jumped from the second floor window to survive. We immediately found the lady laying down in front of the house. Uh, she was clearly injured, cold, um, and was in need of medical attention. Officer David DeRoach carried her to safety. Then we just went back and started assisting the fire department in uh, finding other people inside the house. Before crews were able to battle the flames, two others were pulled from the home. The fourth person inside was found in the upstairs bathroom. That person was found unconscious and didn't survive. Once everyone was out, crews focused on the fire. Because we had to give those rescue efforts first priority, so therefore the fire had time to continue to develop. The fire was out early Saturday morning. The cause is being blamed on a wood stove not properly placed inside the living room on the first floor. If you have wood stoves, secondary heating um, appliances in your house, that you really have the appropriate clearances around those. And on top of that, no working smoke detectors and a very cluttered home, all things that added up to this fatal outcome. We really want to push to people out there that having clear exit ways to your front door, your back door, and just overall you know, housekeeping issues in your house is, is really going to help you in the, that type of situation. The names of the people inside the home have not been released. Firefighters are warning people to make sure their smoke alarms are working and again, to be very careful when it comes to heating your home. Live in the studio, Kristen Carosa, WMUR News 9.